Oh, hi guys. This is another just nasty yuck cold gray rainy depressing just a fucking why the hell did I get out of bed this morning day here in the end times in paradise this is paradise this is Garfield Texas you know on this Thursday morning February 22nd 2018 so we head into the last week of February last week of February so this is your old depressed collapsitarian is launching into his weekly depressed collapsitarian whine for anyone who wants to sit here and listen to this shit I don't have any idea where this is going one week left in February so it will be March one week from today and as some of you are aware of I've kind of given myself this vague assignment to myself. Uh, basically, I, I have one more week to decide whether I, I'm, I'm basically going to throw the fucking towel in uh, on, on this whole goddamn uh, little doomsday prophet chapter in my life. We're coming down to the critical mass here and uh, you know the closer I get to this self-imposed deadline of, of Hambone you've got to do something to to get out of this fucking rut. Uh, every single uh, aspect uh, of, of my life which, which, which is just a, a reflection of, uh, of the planet. Every single part of my life I analyze uh, ha has turned to shit. Uh, here I am, 58 years old, looking back over my life, and once again I'm celebrating a, another day of sitting alone in my kitchen. This is it. This is my fucking life. Uh, sitting here with my thumb up my ass, sitting here in my kitchen on this nasty fucking winter day. You know, with uh, the, 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 the only thing to get me out of this chair is to go back to this goddamn defensive driving course from hell which is just, it's just so emblematic of this whole fucking little drama. And I know that uh, sister, Southern Sister Sandy is kind of going through the same thing in Florida. It's just so fucking emblematic of every goddamn thing that is wrong with my life, everything that is wrong with this country, everything that is wrong with this culture, everything that is wrong with this global society, everything that is wrong with this species, everything that is wrong with this planet. Uh, it's it, the, the metaphor uh, of, this, uh, of, of this goddamn speeding ticket. Uh, it, it really is for the tiny fraction of people who, who just have enough time in their life to spend analyzing things. I have way too much time in my life, obviously. I have, uh, I have created massive, massive holes of time. Uh, just where, where I can sit down and, and spend way too much of my life analyzing, analyzing my life 
and analyzing uh, my fellow humans, my fellow non-humans, and this planet, and just it, it's just every single place I turn my attention. It makes no difference anymore, guys. Uh, I mean, let's start with myself. Uh, I, I can look at my financial life, which is an absolute shambles right now. My financial life, my professional life, my social life, my sex life, my love life, my spiritual life, every single aspect of my life has turned completely, totally to shit. Which as I say, is just a microcosm of, of how my life, and, and I don't mind saying the lives of, uh, of pretty much anyone who has pulled their fucking heads out of their ass to look at the goddamn handwriting on the wall, is that, is that my life is just a reflection uh, of how every single aspect uh, of life on this planet has turned to shit. There, uh, I, I mean, there is, uh, there is no ray of hope that I see anywhere. We, we are so fucked, so super fucked, so mega fucked, so, uh, what did Sandy, the head of the, th the three-headed snake fucked? So, as I've been talking about in, the, in this uh, depressed collapsitarian whine for the past several Thursdays, you know, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I understand that I need to get out of this, out of this doomosphere shit, that this doomosphere shit not doing me any good, but uh, you know, I, I, so what I do is, uh, is I sit here and try to imagine different scenarios for myself. You know, so okay, Hambone, you, you, you get out of the fucking rut uh, that you're in on every single level of your life, and, and what are the alternatives? And uh, the alternatives, well, uh, you, you can see the, one of the alternatives. Uh, if, if you look at uh, my rant of just going into Austin, Texas yesterday. Uh, I, I, I get sick and tired of sitting here uh, in my kitchen talking to my little imaginary friends uh, on, on, in cyberspace so I get in my fucking gas sucking truck to go visit the few real life friends I have left in Austin, Texas and, and I get a fucking taste of that. And think, my fucking God, why did I ever get out of my goddamn chair in my own kitchen? Uh, it, it makes no goddamn difference. <coughs> you know, and, and for the five or six people on this planet who uh, got as far into, I, I guess it's the last thing I put on about, about how I was reading this, uh, this little Bliss Nitty magazine last night, which actually, you know, is talking about this very thing. Uh, Chasing Rabbits was the name of this article by one of these little fucking Bliss Nitty flibberty gibbets. You know, I hear this shit so much, and so they're literally this little flibberty gibbet bliss nitty, clueless fucking. Uh, I don't know whether she's a bitch or not. 
Uh, she probably would turn into a fucking psycho bitch in about five minutes if you got to know her. But I don't know the woman, so I don't know if she's a bitch or not. But, you know, you just hear this shit that, uh, that you, uh, you, you need to change, you need to reprogram your, your, your thought processes. It's just a version on, 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 this, on this goddamn bliss ninny shit about how we create our own reality. Like, um, you, you, you know, it, it's, it's the doomer's fault. It's our fault. It, it's the people who have, uh, who have pulled our heads out of our asses and, and realized the absolute fucking hopelessness of every aspect uh, of, of living on this planet, uh, on every single aspect, it, it, it is our fault. It, it, it's, it's blaming the, it, 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 it's our fucking fault. We're the ones who created the sixth mass extinction. We're the ones who created the Murano scene. We're the ones who uh, created abrupt climate change. We're the ones who created the 300 trillion fucking tons uh, of plastic in the oceans. Uh, it, you know, it's our negative thoughts, our negative thoughts, uh, and and if you just change, just just reprogram your negative thoughts, you go pay hundreds of dollars to some fucking bliss ninny tuning in to your to your fucking guardian angels, uh, you know and. And, and, and tuning up your aura. Uh, what was that thing called? The rejuvenator or, or whatever. Some little fucking amulet you wear around your neck or you stick up your fucking ass to, uh, to reprogram your negative energy and to shield yourself from people like or like me or anyone else down here in the fucking doomosphere who realizes how fucking hopeless it is. You know, I, I, I understand. I've been a goddamn $100,000 a year real estate agent selling fucking houses to clueless fucking morons. I, I understand that I could go back into that fucking rabbit hole, as I say, or in, in for the few people who uh, who got through that uh, whine last night about a depressed collapsitarian following the bliss ninny light uh, out of the doomosphere. Um, the, the final thing, in case you missed that, was one of these dear abbeys of the doomosphere and what this little bliss ninny was recommending, was recommending to this woman who was in a rut, was to get her real estate license. Get her real estate license and to take a cruise. Get your real estate license, uh, make a bunch of money, and you too can take a carnival cruise. This was one of these fucking bliss. I think her name was Ashtara. She was uh, she was tuning in to the energies of, of Zeus among others. That uh, Zeus was was telling Ashtara to tell this woman who was stuck in a fucking uh, spiritual uh, rut that what she needed to get out of her her negative what was to get her real estate license and take a cruise. You know, guys. It's just, it's just absolutely fucking pointless. There, there, there is no way out. 
There is no fucking way out. You know, so I, I'm thinking, <clears throat> you, 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 you know, how the fuck, Hambone, are you going to get up and do your dump the Trump de high roundup rant? You know, I was talking to my friends last night who were big on Facebook, and they got into this discussion how, how some of my own personal friends, I mean, I don't do Facebook, including one of the original tribes members uh, here on Huntley Dump, one of the very original tribes members, one, one of my friends from my pre Humpty Dumpty tribe days, uh, who, who is no clueless moron, and he's one of the nicest guys on the planet that he and another one of the nicest guys on the planet, um, my buddy Catfish, uh, I mean, two of the nicest guys I have ever met. And apparently what my friends are telling me is that they have turned into just these two really nice guys, uh, have turned into these absolutely foaming, at the mouth, Trump tards, uh, and and anybody talking trash on Facebook about Donald Trump that apparently uh, Brother Rick, who I guess is a former Tribes member, Rick V, if you're still a Tribes member, come on, brother. Uh, you know, uh, in, in these in the, in their and they're defriending. Uh, I mean, some of their best, closest friends on Facebook. Uh, I, I, I'm talking about solid friendships going back years, just being ripped apart by by uh, Donald Trump on social media. And, and, and I'm getting this weird feeling uh, that my buddy Catfish. I've never had a bad word. I, 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 I'm, I'm hoping to hell I'm wrong on this, but this absolute fucking troll from hell that has been, I, I finally had to kick him off. Uh, holy troller. Holy troller, are you listening to this? I mean, you can't comment. Are you catfish for God's sake? There, there, there seems to be... There's more and more evidence that this this, this ungodly uh, fucking troll from hell is, is, is one of my real-life buddies. That, he, that Catfish and I have been nothing but, but friends from, from the day we laid eyes on each other. We do... Uh, the, the guy is an absolute sweetheart, as is uh, as is brother Rick V, probably former tribes member. And apparently, this social media and Donald Trump has turned them into just just, just fucking assholes, where just you know people are, are kicking them are off and they're, I, I mean, just this war that has erupted, friendships destroyed over Donald fucking Trump. You know, we're, we're fucked. Yeah, you know, I, I really didn't. I really didn't have anything to talk about on the dump the Trump beehive, except I guess on, on President's Day. Who was it? Was it the New York Times? I think. Anyway, New York Times or somebody like that. I guess that they interviewed like 170 presidential scholars from all across the political spectrum. Democrats, Republicans, whatever, it made no difference. And so they did this survey of, of 170 presidential scholars, and, and it was an absolute no-brainer uh, who the worst president 
uh, in, in, in the history uh, of the United States, hands down, bar none, uh, Donald Trump. He is an absolute, the, the guy, you know, uh, I, I am quickly losing my sense of humor over this fucker. Uh, he is, he is poison. He is, he is just a walking, just a, well, not even walking, he's a seething, slithering, just mass of, 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 of toxics, just, just this toxic brew of, he is, he is everything, he is, he is Pandora's box. Just, just uh, I, I mean, the guy, he, again, Donald Trump is, if you, if you need to look uh, at, at the emblem of, of everything that is wrong uh, with, uh, with this country, with humanity, with this planet, it, it, is, it is embodied in Donald fucking Trump. And, and, and now this motherfucker is out there just literally destroying friendships. People uh, defending this motherfucker that it is more important to, uh, to, to people to defend Donald Trump than, than it is to enjoy uh, years-long friendships. You know, as I've mentioned many times, that uh, my best friend in the world uh, voted for Donald Trump. Voted for the motherfucker and still supports him. She was supporting him last night. Uh, and, and somehow, uh, unbelievably, I guess, that uh, our friendship has survived Donald Trump because we're big enough to, to put our, our differences on Donald Trump. Uh, you know, we can, we can just agree to disagree. Uh, but it's just... You know, and, uh, and, and I, and, and, and so of course, you know, the first thing I do every morning is I get up to check my ever dwindling number of views. Usually my climate change meltdown roundup and round. I can usually count on it. I think I'm at about 250 views on my climate change rant. So, which is usually my most popular. So I now have 4,737 subscribers. Uh, I have gotten, in the last 24 hours, I have gotten 12 new subscribers. Maybe Kevin, uh, Kevin, maybe you sent me these, I don't know. Uh, I have gotten 12 new subscribers. I have 4,737 of them, uh, so if let's say 237 of them actually tuned into my climate change. That means 4,500 of my 4,737 subscribers did not click on uh, my own climate change meltdown roundup rant. This is, what is this, a, a penetration rate of my own subscribers, well, 450, well, see, 470 people, uh, so, is one, so about 5%, so about 95% of my own subscribers uh, had something more interesting to listen to than my climate change meltdown roundup rant yesterday. And uh, you, you do know what the, uh, th th there's several articles of this on the mainstream media today. I'll talk about this on Saturday. I'm like, clue is more on roundup rant. The number one 
YouTube video yesterday on the planet, the number one trending, what they call trending YouTube video, you know, getting the most voracious number of hits from the time it was loaded. Well, YouTube yanked it down uh, after a couple of hours. Apparently, YouTube uh, ripped it off uh, uh, of YouTube. What it was was one of these uh, conspiracy wacko videos about this goddamn school shooting. Uh, obviously, it was a, a school shooting YouTube because 80% of what the mainstream alternative and social media uh, talking about is, is this school shooting. Well, the video was one of this conspiracy theory uh, about how th these kids, these down there, that some of these kids, these high school students, uh, you know, speaking out uh, against uh, this shooting, particularly in front of CNN, I guess, are these hired actors that they are... Uh, it's unclear who is hiring the actors in the, in, in the Trump administration, but it's, it, it's hired actors you know, who are never students at the high school, they're being hired. Are they being hired by CNN? See, it used to be, you know, like during that, uh, during the Sandy Hook massacre, it was Barack Obama, uh, you know, hiring these, these people uh, as part of Barack Obama's effort to come get your guns. Farage coming to get our guns. <coughs> so now what the fuck? Since they don't have Barack Obama, who the fuck is hiring the actors? But anyway, uh, this was the, uh, the number one, the number one trending YouTube on planet Earth yesterday while... 95% uh, of my own subscribers uh, do not give a flying fuck enough to, to click on my climate change meltdown roundup rant, which of course, what I was talking about, the, 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 the main focus of that is, is that the, the whole subject of climate change has just become so just just background noise to people you know even the doomers even the people who get it there's only so many ways that that you can say we're so fucked with the climate and so and again today i uh i i went on <clears throat> I, I i looked at every single fucking headline that let's say 100 headlines today uh, on Yahoo News in the mainstream media uh, on the main headlines there is one story on climate change which is the the same story that they were running yesterday the same one story uh, out of the top call it 100 stories on the planet and that in itself w was a story from more than a week ago that has somehow just been clinging on about you know one of these stories about sea level rise um, one fucking story uh, but but not not one new story not one new story uh, on on perhaps the single biggest existential threat to America, to humanity, and to this planet. And so then I go over to the science pages. The science pages on the mainstream media today. One story. I guess they do about 50 science stories. Out of 50 science stories, one story. 
that they ran from Newsweek on uh, Antarctic ice melt about how an Antarctica is just melting into the fucking ocean uh, this year. You well, it's summertime down there. Uh, one story. So when you add up the mainstream media, main headlines, and the science headlines, you will find two stories, uh, one of which is new. But you will not find one new story on climate change on the main headlines. My guess out of the top 100 stories on the planet today, I would say probably 30 of them. Probably 30 stories are about this school shooting. Uh, and you, you wonder why I, I uh, am I, why am I a fucking depressed collapsitarian? But anyway, So that's how far I've made it into my day on this goddamn nasty fucking day. What is that? I think the high today is like 45 here. Just this drizzly fucking nasty 45 degree day. And uh, here I sit. So I might as well wrap this up because it's a good a day as any to get back into the goddamn global police state. And, and get back to my defensive driving course. There was one piece of good news, uh, at least, is that people who drink one or two drinks, well, this is supposed to be good news, many versions of this story, that moderate drinkers, which they define as someone who has one or two drinks glasses of wine or beers. Uh, the good news is that it, it, you will live a longer life than people who drink one or two drinks. I drink two shots of tequila per day, have a better chance of living past 90 than people, than teetotalers like Donald Trump. So uh, you are less likely to make it to age 90 if you're a teetotaler or if you're a fucking drunk who drinks more than two drinks a day. But if you drink one or two drinks a day, uh, you have a better chance uh, of making it to age 90. Now, of course, this means that uh, since I will be 90 in September of 2049, uh, y y y yes, and so that means uh, in the year 2050, I will be 91 years old. So the best thing that I can do to make that happen is to drink two drinks a day. But of course, uh, this is supposed to be good news for moderate drinkers, but of course, I'm a moderate drinker who wants to be dead tomorrow, who wants nothing more, and it's the, it's the same thing that I've wanted for the past eight years, and that is simply, that is simply to have two fucking drinks, to uh, lay down tonight, uh, excuse me, lie down tonight uh, in, in, in my damn bed, pull the fucking covers up over my head and never wake up just to go gently into this nasty cold winter night. That, that, that is the one wish that I have for myself is it, simply to roll over and fucking die. But no, that's too fucking much to ask. Anyway, anything else? What's on your mind, Sancho Panza? Squirrelies are on my mind. There's squirrelies out there. 
This, this little dog, this little dog is, is the one ray of sunshine in, in, in my fucking life. We're so fucked, people. I'm fucked. You're fucked. If you have kids and grandchildren, they're really fucked. Sancho Panza, being a dog, he's about four years old. He probably has about ten more years. Sancho Panza might be able to uh, get out of this uh, w without the screen door slamming him on his goddamn guilty ass on his way out. Oh, all right, little dog, I gotta go back to defensive driving. Bye, guys. Yes, little dog, you think I'm gonna be the squirrelies or what? Are your squirrelies out there or not?